because he's uh, delusional in a lot of ways. He overestimates his capabilities. And he's extremely angry and desperate about losing control over Ukraine. That was uh, establishing a hold over Ukraine was a major part of his plan to control the post-Soviet space. He wanted uh, the exclusive dominance of the whole uh, post-Soviet space as the major idea of his uh, presidency. Uh, you know, he keeps talking about the tragic loss of the Soviet Union. It's not that he literally recreates the Soviet Union, but he, he wants to create a Russia-controlled space on what was the Soviet Union 30 years ago. So uh, if you do not control Ukraine, uh, this plan is a failure because Ukraine is a jewel on the crown. It's obviously the biggest and most influential uh, country besides Russia in the post-Soviet space. So he was, uh, he was extremely angry at uh, the Ukrainians for defeating him during the Orange Revolution in 2004, defeating him during the Maidan Revolution in 2014. Actually, Ukraine was the key country which did not bow to advance of uh, Putin's Eurasian-style mafia dictatorship. They didn't, uh, they resisted, they didn't bow to the idea of including them into this dictatorial club. He's extremely wounded by that. He's also driven by a lot of revenge and he overestimates his power and his capabilities, which is why he will be desperate and he will not stop. But my estimate is that what happened is a, a very significant blow to Putin's financial, economic and governance system, because Russia is extremely dependent on the international markets, on access to global financial market, technology, infrastructure. We have been uh, cut off significantly. So Russia ends up in a very strong isolation, the strongest uh, and probably even stronger than we had in the Soviet times. Russia will face a North Korea type uh, isolation and that's a significant test for the economy, for the society, for the governance system. My take is that uh, the system will not withstand this test and it will be a, a severe enough blow to trigger political changes, but we will have to see.